thank you so much for watching this video. Today we're going to go over how to create a big and full and energetic intro for gospel music. So if you're working on trying to get your production chops up, if you're just trying to get better with all around production, this is the video for you. So check it out. So I'm working on this intro for church. We're going to use these as stems tomorrow in service. So this is the intro. Now I did the intro with the instrumentation and the loop and all of that. Intro. One, two, three, four. So check it out. I want to break down what's going on in this track. So number one, what I did with this uh, arrangement first, I started with the loop. So within this loop, this is what the loop sounds like by itself. And I've done a video before. I'll tag the video above on how I work on creating loops. So y'all can go check that out and use that as a reference. But this is the loop right here by itself. So we got shakers going on, we got claps going on, we got like a little kick thing going on. Um, and let me show y'all what I'm using as well. So in Logic, if you go down here and click on World, and then you click on Percussion right here, I'm using a lot of the Latin kick to create this um, intro loop or whatever. So that's what we're doing with the Latin kick. And then I'm also using the African kit um, so that's down in world as well. Percussion. So this is what we got going on with that. And then I got some samples that I'm using, like some West Coast sample type stuff. With the clap. And then the last thing that I'm using to make this loop is Stylus RMX. I'm giving y'all all the secrets today. I hope y'all go check it out. This is Stylus RMX. This is basically a drum machine that creates all types of loops, whether it's shakers, tambourines, claps. This library right here literally has everything. It's made by uh, Spectrasonic. So y'all go check that out. Stylus RMX. Hey, let me let you in on a secret. So I've been working on a 10 song album that is set to release May 26th. Here's what I need your help with. Please do not skip this video. This is very important. I need you to go over to Spotify and pre-save my album release. When you pre-save my new record, what you're doing is you're helping me as an independent artist get Spotify's attention and put my record on multiple platforms to be heard by more listeners. So please help me out. I've made it easy for you. The link is below. It only takes like two seconds. Back to the video. I have my keys right here. I'm using my Nord. Super simple. I'm just playing the keys. I'm playing it real full and real simple. From there, I got a bass going on. The bass that I'm using there is actually from my Roland Integra 7. So that's the bass that I'm using. And then we got some synths going on. So that's a real fun synth right there. It's incredible to use for gospel music. If you're wondering where I got this synth from, I actually created it. So shameless plug, if you go to my website, you can get access to this uh, brass type synth patch right here. And I stacked both of these. So I created both of these sounds and y'all can go check it out. Um, actually, one of these is a sample, but it's within my modern wave sample pack so go check that out if you want access to some more sounds for logic only works in logic though so y'all go check that out so if you're following along you see that we're building a foundation production wise we're, we're kind of like building a bed to make this production sound super super full so follow with me we got loop we got keys and then we have another synth patch brass over top of the keys kind of complementing what the keys is doing <laughs> The next thing that we have in this production, I have like some lead lines to highlight more of what I'm doing um, with the melody. So we got this guitar and this uh, synth situation going on. Good 
guitar. So this synth right here is actually from O'Neill's sound pack. I don't have the link to his sound pack. Um, you maybe can look online and find it. Um, this guitar lead that I'm using is from my Roland Integra. Next sound we got is a, I call these sounds EFX. They're like special sounds. Um, they're like sweeps basically. So I got this in the intro of the intro. Super simple. It's not doing much, it's just kinda adding to what we already have there. Sweep. Another sweep. So we actually got that from my Roland Integra as well. And then we have some orchestra hits right here. So I'm highlighting this big part right here in the middle of the intro. Next thing we have to have is bells. What is a gospel production without bells, right? With the bells, I'm highlighting the lines again. So if you can see what we're doing, again, we're building a foundation. So we got the keys playing chords. We got the bass playing the bass line. And then again, we had that synth brass patch highlighting what the keys are doing along with like some chords and lines. Then we got these auxiliary um, tracks literally just only playing the lines. The bells are playing the lines as well. The next instrument that we added was horns. Again, highlighting the line. The next situation we have going on is a choir patch from my Roland Integra. So yeah, we got that choir patch going on. Um, it's funny, I was watching my boy Jan Hunter. He was doing a video um, explaining how he added like a choir patch to one of his productions and how Jay Dilla does that. Um, so I was like, let me add this to this gospel production and see what it sounds like. Um, and it turned out pretty good. Shout out to Jan Hunter, always giving away good tips. And the next thing that we have is key drums. Y'all know that I love key drums. These key drums is actually from gospelproducers.com. Um, they have an incredible key drum library called Pro Drums. I want y'all to go check that out. Pro Drums. I love Pro Drums. Go check it out. So this is what it sounds like. Real good tones and it feels really, really good. Since I've broke down the entire production of this intro and all of the sound selections and parts that I have to make it sound like this, let's go back and listen to it again. Intro. One, two, three, four. That's how you make an intro sound big and full and energetic. Hope you use those tips. And since you watched until the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the stems below in this video and you can get access to these stems of me recreating this intro to the song higher. So it's free. I'm, I'm doing it since you guys support me and since you guys always showing love, I'm going to drop this product for free. You can click the link below and get access to the stems and the loop and everything that I just showed you. So y'all go check that out. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Again, I thank you guys for your support and we out.